For any choropleth map, we can count the number and type of joins that exist. By type, we're talking about whether or not the join is between two cells that are black, two cells that are white, or if the join is between a black cell and a white cell. And what we are going to do is count the number of joins that exist. So first of all, in this map over here, let's count the total number of joins. So we can start by counting the vertical joins. We are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 vertical joins. And now horizontal joins, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to have 12 horizontal joins, and that gives us 24 total joins. Now in this case, what did we use, the rooks or the queen? How many joins would there be if we used the queen's case? Well, we would have all 24 rooks cases, plus we would have all the diagonal joins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we, we would have the 24 plus 18 new joins to deal with. For simplicity, and because this is such a small map with a very low sample size, let's use the Rooks case. So how many joins do we have between uh, two white cells? We can count those as well. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how many between two black cells? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have six joins between two blacks. And what about between blacks and whites? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We could have just taken 24 and subtracted 7 and 6 from it in order to know that the leftover was going to be 11. Because we see that the number of joints, and I'll just use a capital J for that, equals the number of joints that are white with white plus the number of joints that are black with black plus the number of joints that are black with white. So if we knew what these two quantities were and this quantity, we could have subtracted uh, the this from this to know right away what the black W joint count was without actually going through and finding those counts. Now, the, the logic behind the joint count statistic is that we are going to use these quantities. Specifically, we're going to use the black-white join count quantity to determine whether or not the map pattern is clustered, random, or uniform.